What's going on everyone? Wash and Mike and Osher. And uh, yes, it's true. I woke up this morning to find out one of my videos on YouTube has been blocked. So I thought I would talk about it. I've been doing social media videos for over six years now. I've been on YouTube for four of those. I've had videos blocked on other platforms before. Many people have, so I've tried to learn from that. I've certainly been demonetized several times on YouTube, which is never fun, but again, I have to learn from it and see exactly what happened. But this is a first. The red eye means blocked. No one can view this video. It was a fun video. Um, about a talk show and there were a few guests and they were guessing whether these five people were British or American depending on their accents and some people were faking and I made some commentary along the way but the owner of that video CBS which is a huge American corporate media channel has went out of their way to file a copyright claim you know people steal my videos all the time and I just I don't have enough time to go around and chasing everybody and I'm not gonna spend money on lawyers and try to get these videos taken down it's it's just not worth my time but apparently it's worth CBS's time so what does this mean for my channel fortunately not very much you YouTube has a three strike system and this one does not count as a strike so it doesn't affect my channel. However, the issue is this was actually a sponsored video. In the video I had shared that I'm going to be giving away my video courses for free for anyone who signs up for Lingoda this Christmas season. And the good friends at Lingoda, they, you know, they understood, you know, what, what's happening and they're going to extend their special discounts which is up to 40% off until at least January 15th, maybe longer. So if you're still interested in Lingoda and you wanna get those deals, you can take advantage of that. And I will also be giving away one of my courses of your choosing for free. My email's in the description and a comment below. If you buy a package, just send me a screenshot and I'll give you a free course. And if you wanna learn more about Lingoda, watch to the end of the video. I'll explain it and you can see if it's for you. I mean, I think they're great. So I went into a deep dive about what is considered fair use. Because in this case, getting blocked or not getting blocked hinges on what is fair use. Yes, I did use somebody else's video, but what are the rules about using someone else's video? And I personally think there's a bit of bias which is in favor of these big corporate media outlets because obviously they have a lot of money and they could sue YouTube potentially, whereas I'm just a little guy, I'm not gonna hire a lawyer and sue YouTube most likely. I know that sounds a little conspiracy theory-ish, but let's look through the rules and then we're gonna look at some of my videos that other people have stolen, which I tried to get taken down, but weren't taken down, meaning I lost the case, even though they didn't change pretty much anything. And you can be the judge in this case. So first thing, how does fair use work? So according to YouTube's own videos on fair use, fair use is not determined by YouTube, it's determined by the courts. So technically I can't say YouTube blocked me. It's different in every country, but in the US specifically, a judge will review a specific case based on a set of principles to decide if fair use applies. For example, in the US, works of commentary, criticism, research, teaching, or news reporting might be considered fair use. So right there, that looks good for me. It was definitely commentary. There was definitely some teaching going on. I was teaching some English phrases as we were going. So far, looks like fair use, and I should not be getting blocked. Let's get a little more specific. What constitutes fair use? Courts typically focus on whether the use is transformative. So in this case, I took the video, made it small, cut it into a bunch of bits, discussed it as we were going along. The question is, did I add new meaning to the original? So here's where it starts to get a little fuzzy. I did add new expression, I added new meaning, I added a teaching element. In my opinion, I did transform it. The thing that's going against me here is using it for commercial purposes. This is considered less likely to be fair use. Though, it is still possible to monetize a video and still be considered fair use. I guess someone could argue I didn't change it enough or I didn't teach enough about it. Again, I'm gonna show you an example of my own video that somebody took and changed a little bit and I still lost the case. Okay, the second part doesn't really apply to me. The third part, borrowing small bits of material from an original work is more likely to be considered fair use than borrowing large portions. This is probably where I went wrong. In this situation, I did borrow a large portion, probably at least half of the video. However, I did cut it up into small pieces. But looking back, I probably should have used less of that video or taken material from another video or several other videos and put it together. That way it would have been much more transformative in nature. And number four, did I harm the copyright owner's ability to profit? No, I didn't. So main lesson learned regarding fair use is don't use big portions of a video. But the interesting thing I also found is copyright owners must provide a timestamp 
for the part of the video they're claiming that I violated the copyright. In this case, they're only claiming from 2.58 to 4.26, which is about a minute and a half. I don't know why just that one part. And the other thing is they didn't actually claim the video, they just claimed the audio. So what I can do is I can trim out the segment, in which case my video would just make no sense whatsoever, or I could dispute it. And I think I have a pretty good case for fair use here, but is it worth my time? Do I, a little guy, think I can go up against a big corporation like CBS? So let's talk about my videos getting stolen and me taking copyright claims against others. Here is a person that they used 100% of my video, which means they just took it and re-uploaded it. And I can request them to remove this, but there's no promise that I'll win. Let's just look at it and see how transformative it is. Okay, this is a video I made last year before the election. So here's what they did. They downloaded my video, which was originally a 16 to nine ratio, and they just shrunk it to a four to three ratio, and they just re-uploaded it. That's all they did. Nothing else has changed. This has happened to me a couple of times this year. I put in a copyright claim, tried to get them to remove it, and nothing. So to be fair to YouTube, most of the requests I put in have been resolved and the video was removed. YouTube didn't remove the video. I requested the other person that uploaded it to remove the video. There was a couple videos which I requested here um, to remove and they just said that there was not enough information for them to manually remove it. But now I click on it and this video is unavailable because YouTube has terminated this account. So why wouldn't they take the video down but now they just terminated the account. I just, I don't understand, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a removal request for this video. Will it get removed? I have no idea. A lot of people take my videos and cut them up and do other things with it. That's fine, I don't care, that's fair use. But if you're just gonna take my video, scrunch it and upload it, and that's considered transformative enough and I have no recourse, but I completely changed the other video talking about the US and British accents. It seems to me there are different standards there. I mean, I hope I'm wrong. Anyway, I was just, a little frustrated this morning, so I felt like it would be good to, to vent. So thank you for listening. I'll definitely take what I've learned into consideration for future videos so this doesn't happen again. Probably won't be buying a subscription to CBS anytime soon. It is what it is. For those of you who want to get one of my courses for free and learn a little bit more about how you can up your English with Lingoda Live Online Courses, here's the promotion from the original video. It's almost Christmas, so that means it's time for discounts, it's time for giveaways, and I will personally be giving away for free, one of my video courses of your choice to anyone who signs up for a Lingoda marathon course or a monthly subscription package. And the best part is right now, Lingoda is offering up to 40% off of their marathon courses or their monthly subscriptions. And you can bring your English or Spanish or German or French to the next level. Click the link below and take advantage of these holiday prices. They won't last forever. My video courses are the perfect supplement to Lingoda's live teachers in their online language school. If you're not familiar with Lingoda, all you need to know is they're one of the biggest and best online language schools in the world. All their teachers are native speakers. You can book classes 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can even try it out for one week for free. If it's not for you, just cancel before the end of the seven days. If you love it, which I think you will, your payment will be taken after the one week free trial. Remember Lingoda offers one-to-one -one live teaching, or you can be like me and join a small group class. Check out my Spanish class. So you can check out my dashboard here. Um, I got all these classes to choose from. Hey, Hola, Michael. hi. Uh, soy de los Estados Unidos, pero vivo en uh, China. Juego al fútbol más, con mis amigos más, y tocar el guitar. La, la guitarra. La guitarra, <laughs> sorry. Adios. 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 There was a couple other people in there, so. We could all make our mistakes together. The new year is coming. It's a great time to set up a new goal. Click the link below and enjoy the holiday savings while they last. Thanks everyone for watching. Let me know what you think below. Should my video be considered fair use or did I not transform the video enough? If you want to watch the video on my other platforms, it's still up on there. So go ahead and enjoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to run. As always, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Watch Michael Asher. Shatsu. Zai jian.